little bit of the Smashbox Mindful 5 Nourishing Lip Oil. I usually put that on before I start my makeup just to moisturize my lips a little bit. Um, for foundation, I'm going to take, no, I'm not. I'm going to do primer first. <laughs> I'm going to use the Hydro Blur Primer from Derm Dermalogica. And for foundation, I'm going to take the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin with a Real Techniques Buffing Brush. My nails aren't painted because when this goes up, I should have how I do my own nails. That video should already be up. I ordered a nail polish from Amazon, but Prime pretty much is non-existent right now because of everything that's going on. So it hasn't got here yet. Concealer that I'm going to use is a Too Faced Born This Way concealer. And this is the Dose of Colors sponge. And then I'm going to set that with the Laura Mercier Secret Brighten Powder. I'm going to use a brush again with the Sigma Tapered Highlighter F35 brush. I'm going to... I'm going to take the Makeup Forever powder foundation that I've mentioned a million times and I'm going to just put a little bit all over my face. Then I'm going to do my eyes and I'll be right back. So the palette that I'm going to use is the Urban Decay Naked Reloaded palette. A lot of you guys wanted to see the original Naked palette but I don't have it. So this one seems to me like it's a lot closer to the original so I'm gonna take the color blur and I'm gonna kind of just work my way from light to dark and gradually just use the darker color and then the next color I'm gonna use is the color boundaries which is right next to it and I'm taking the same brush and I'm just putting that into my crease basically doing the same thing but just trying not to cover up that color I put in it the light when you go from light to dark it kind of helps you blend out a lot more um, easier and then I'm going to take the color next to it which is the color bucked and I'm going to do basically the same thing put it on that outer corner of my eye and then whatever's left on my brush I'm working it into my crease And then I'm going to take the color Endgame and I'm going to, again, do the same thing. I'm just putting this into the outer corner of my eye. That's where I want to kind of focus it on. And then I'm going to blend whatever's left into my crease. And then I'm going to take the color Barely Baked. Aren't these all the same names as the original one? I don't know. I'm going to take the color Barely Baked and I'm going to put that onto my eyelid. Try not to cover up too much of that outer corner uh, brown color, but just enough to blend it out. And then for the wing, I used Sigma's Liquid Liner. I really like the brush tip on this liner. I also really like the liner too. It's it's a really dark matte eyeliner but doesn't really get cakey. I 
And then I'm going to put a lavender in the waterline and the color I'm using is from Marc Jacobs and it's called Mist Me. And then I'm going to use this L'Oreal Infallible Liquid Eyeshadow. I'm not sure if they still have these, but I will link it in the description box. And I'm going to take the darker side and put it on my lower lash line. And you're going to want to blend this out really fast because it tends to dry really fast. And more, the way it dries is the way it's going to stay. So I blended it out really fast under my lower lash line. And then I'm going to switch to another palette because I really like the lavender color in it. Again, it's the Violet Boss Sweet Light Palette. Sweet Violet Palette. I really, really like this palette. Obviously, I think I've used it like five times. I'm going to take that lavender color and just go over that color that I used before. And then I just ended up doing this. It wasn't my other eye wasn't like this in the beginning. But I'm going to just smoke out that eyeliner. And I'm going to put a little bit of a matte black shadow first. And then I'm going to blend it out with that lavender purple color that I used. I'm going to use this Makeup Forever, what the heck, Pro Sculpting Duo. It has both the highlighter and the bronzer. This is in the first one, I think. It says 01. I'm going to use both of these, but first I'm going to use the bronzer. My brush. Flipping this sponge over because it's got like a flat side. Taking Milani's Luminoso blush. Okay. Then I'm going to take the highlighter. I'm going to use this Milani. All over blending brush. I just want to add a little bit. I don't want a lot. I'm just going to use this one. It's Huda Beauty's Trendsetter. 